As a fan, an exciting finish for UCF here tonight. Head coach Joy Williams, I'm sure on that sideline, a little bit nerve-wracking down the, the stretch, but coach there in that extra stanza, Nate Carter coming up big, creating her own shot, hitting two jumpers, and then coming up with a crucial steal there down the stretch, or a loose ball, how about that? Yeah, I think we, you know, Nate had a, a matchup, a good matchup for her to attack, and so we tried to take advantage of that, and she stepped up to the occasion. You know, Nay's a person who can score the ball um, in bunches, and I'm just really proud of her. I thought she had a pretty good floor game tonight. Carter there lifting against Gossowitz twice in that extra period. And coach there in that second half, you get that lead up to 10. Uh, double figures, it's around eight, seven points, and then Rice, they chip away, keep chipping. I thought there, though, during the course of their, their comeback, UCF, who got a jab in the mouth, was able to come back down after it was a one-possession game and get a couple big scores. Yeah, they did, and, you know, one thing we've got to do, Scott, is be able to focus for 40 minutes. I thought we came out with not as much intensity in the second half as we would have liked to have seen, but, you know, credit the team. They, they really fought through and got a tough win, and, um, you know, we made some mistakes that we can't afford to make, especially going on the road these next two. Coach, there in that first half, you shoot another uh, a saucy 50% from the floor. You got to like that. You out-rebound them by 10. Custer sits for lengths a, at a time. She has two fouls. First half, you guys are up by eight points. Yeah, well, she, she's an outstanding player. And I thought, you know, when she went out in the first half, um, I really would have liked for us to have taken better advantage of that. But, you know, they did, did a good job of going to her. But, you know, rebounding-wise, we had a 10-point margin at half, and, and we maintained that. So, Really proud of the rebounding set because that was one of our big keys coming into the game. Coach, it seems offensively for your ladies over the course of the past couple of games, we've really started to to maybe hit a stride offensively. Is maybe seeing the the bucket a little bit uh, sharper. You get some nice performances. Four ladies in double figures here this evening. Yeah, well, I thought we shared the ball pretty well. I, I don't know. Um, you know, again, we had some untimely turnovers, but we were able to capitalize and make some good things happen on defense. I thought, you know, when we went to our trapping defense, we got a little bit out of that and. Um, you know, it was good to see us hit some shots because we, we certainly need to. Coach, what's that say about your ladies, that, that you can turn the basketball over as many times as they did here tonight, but still be able to, to dig down here in this second half despite them making that charge and be able to come out here with a victory? Well, I think it says a lot. You know, we had a lot play with a lot of heart tonight. We didn't play a great game, but, you know, we played well enough to win, and that's what it's all about, especially playing at home. We talk about playing with a lot of pride and defending our home court because we know how tough it is on the road, so you got to try to get the ones at home. Rebounding advantage, 51-41 to use. UCF. Kaylee Keogh with a nice bounce back performance. She played sparingly last time out. Those fouls that she had and she came back out. Lights out. I think that, that jumper there from the free throw line. You find the open woman on the diagonal pass. She turns and hits the, the jumper. She was able to do that a couple times here tonight. Yeah, well Kaylee, you know, if you, you leave her open um, she's able to knock that shot down. We have a lot of confidence on her. She works hard and gets a lot of extra shots in. So, you know, we have confidence in her to knock that down and, and she was able to tonight. So I'm really happy for her. You mentioned the rebounding performance tonight, Coach and Erica Jones. She ripped down a couple uh, timely ones down the stretch after Miss Rice field goals late in the basketball game. Yeah, well, Erica is a person. I, I think she's an outstanding rebounder, and, and we've got to get her to do even better. I mean, she had a great rebounding game tonight, but she's one that's capable of having, you know, 20s. But, um, you know, Erica does a great job for us, and she's a presence on the boards uh, for us inside. Custer came alive there in that second half, Coach, but for the most part, uh, Brianna Hippolyte was limited. It's the second game, Coach, we've seen where one of their big-time scorers are, are shut down by our UCF defense. Yeah, well, that, that's a good thing because they've got some kids who can really shoot at Hippolyte and, and Goswitz. Um, are both very good shooters and being able to hold her down that just limits one of their their threats so really credit to our defense i thought we did a good job on her i thought pat did a good job on her double double for erica jones 12 and 15 patty in double figures carter double figures along with kaylee keogh in double figures and coach now three and oh here from the friendly confines of the ucf arena well it feels good to to play at home and to be able to to win games at home so again the test is is can you go out and do it on the road and that's where it's going to be very important that we rebound and, and defend when we go to Marshall. Well, we got to go to a chilly Huntington, West Virginia. I know we all look forward to that each and every year <laughs> as that coming up here in just mere hours, it, it always seems like. But uh, your ladies will be taking on a Marshall team coach. I think that's one of the surprise teams this year in Conference USA. They they were hit hard a year ago with injuries, with some uh, attrition. And this year, they've been playing some pretty good basketball. Well, not really surprised. I mean, Coach Chabot does, does a great job, and they've got a, basically a whole new team and some very, very talented athletes, some really quick guards. And, you know, we're going to have our hands full, especially in the, in the backcourt. Um, they're, they really, they're really doing a good job. They're pressing a lot and, and playing very aggressively, playing with a lot of confidence right now. So, again, it's going to be up to us to really defend and 
um, to take care of the basketball, you know, but I'm not looking forward to the cold. I just <laughs> hopefully they can the snow won't come. So Coach, once it doesn't snow, we'll be all right. Coach, I will say this: it doesn't show up in a box score, but I, I think we should make another statistic and count two of them for you tonight as the timely timeouts when you see one of your ladies in distress. Those those were key, Coach, because the the possession possibly could have changed arrows with a jump ball. Yeah, well, it's, you know that's something that we've got to be able to do because we players get fatigued sometimes and not think of it so uh, you, as coaches you know I thought we did a, a, a pretty good job tonight of, of trying to call those timeouts and, and really rescue our kids when they needed well, it. Sharp eye coach over there oh, wow. I noticed I Thanks. noticed over there I appreciate that well coach congratulations we get the overtime victory I know it wasn't easy down the stretch but your your ladies able to dig down deep and Nate Carter come up with some big buckets uh, there at the end. Yeah really proud of Nate and again it's a great team effort just proud of our team for getting this win and We'll try to go get another one on Sunday. All right, Coach. We'll see you in Huntington on Thursday as you, uh, your ladies get the victory here tonight. That Thank is you. head. That is head coach Joy Williams. UCF pulling out the victory needed an extra stanza, but Knights getting enough down the stretch. And Nay Carter, the big woman on the spot, she gets past Gosowitz a couple times. UCF with the W.